Baron Zemo is the 13th of the Zemos and is one of Captain America's most notorious enemies, often giving him a run for his money and etc. with his sinister plots and tactical thinking. His father, the other Zemo, was the master Nazi scientist in World War II and convinced his son of the ideology of the Nazis being the master race. And that was the only Zemo in line for ruling the world. However, after his father's apparent death, Zemo blamed Captain America about revenge, you know, the angry type of villain stuff. And to this day, still remains one of the most deadly foes despite his conflict with Captain America. He has on occasions teamed up with the Avengers and stuff because he's not all the way, all the way back. And he served as a founding member of the Thunderbolts. But before I go any farther, thank you all that have donated to the channel. Appreciate it a lot. Oh, you already know that he's geared up. That's just how he is. He has a standard pistol handgun he uses, as you can see. He has literally energy batons, aka batonic and channel electricity. Of course, he has a knife, obviously a small one. Yes, he's literally a walking armory. He has a crossbow, flashbang grenades, as you guessed it. Oh, like what? Some would say a strength dampener? A piece of machinery that can slow down muscle momentum and muscle movement of body parts? He has nanotech fiber gauntlets. It states here, nanotech machine fibers. It's like an exoskeleton. They literally respond to his every gesture, so he has nanotech. And of course, he has a sword. You can see the little thing on his side. Of course, he has marksmanship. He can shoot people without looking. He literally shot Captain America in the back before he could get away. You gotta respect his sword play in like a little barring session. Joystick is impressed by his sword play. It states here, you want some real fun, physical fun? He sliced through the stomach of Sharon Carter. He's even fought Captain America Sam Wilson who is also no super soldier tears I got a video about him so this is impressive to be able to be, keep up in combat with characters like this engages in combat with trick swords who is another great swordsman swordsman skills are so good he even fought the winter soldier in a battle feat so this is impressive concreting him in them super soldier tears already and the video just started on top of him being a, a super soldier tier and fighting speed skills and etc be able to hang with the super soldiers in sword play and etc off gate he's also has ridiculous strategic and tactical genius as well as a brilliant planner and organizer he also has an impressive scientific and inventive ability even though it's if it's not on the level of his father still impressive regardless for example this one time he used his intelligence to search for alternate dimensions to conquer it literally stated here searching the dimensions that border ours for something to inspire me to give me new purpose perhaps i can find a power source or gateway into a realm i can invade or enslave you can tell he's a very wise man he explained how he discovered the identity of captain america he's an expert at piloting aerial vehicles like look at this cool looking vehicle he trained folks, he brainwashed and trained children to hate Captain America to make an army. is a ruler that's smart to have an army, right? Being a super soldier, you have to have fighting speed, being able to dodge point blank energy blasts from beings. So he's fast, slices a telekinetic disc before it hits him, just reflexes and fighting speed. He reacts to Falcon in a battle feat over and over and even disarms him in the process. Captain Falcon, by the way, dodging attacks from Nomad under his head, showing his combat skills with his sword play and etc. Like always, even when Winter Soldier tries to shoot him another battle feat with Winter Soldier, by the way, he can leave out the way of it, fighting speed. And he can imply to even use the shield if he has to. He has to have at least massively hypersonic reaction time. He's able to deflect a blast from vision solar energy beam this also matches up with the captain american and the other panel blocking it as well showing he has to have fighting speed on these guys level my past super soldier videos always explain how they have microsecond reaction time like he's up there with the best fighters like look what he did to win a soldier with a single blow back of the sword ko'd him not to mention he can take out a room full of men like it's just light work to him i mentioned he can use a staff oh yeah in this case he fought nomad with a staff elbows nomad in the head you know battle feet with nomad consistent he's got skills enough to put sam wilson in choco more battle feats of him fighting sam wilson captain america it even tackles songbird in mid-air even though she has like some cool abilities battle feet with sharon he threw sharon out the large window bye bye and beats the crap out of sharon by the way does this to Sharon in the back of the head. Chop. Sharon is a great fighter. As you can see, she stated here, I spar with Captain America and, and Valkyrie. So she spars with really skilled people. In the back of the head hit. He even slapped Captain America across the face. Plenty of battle feats with Captain America, by the way. I say it all the time and I'll say it again. You don't need to have superpowers to be a threat to Avenger level threats or super soldier tiers, for example, because peak humans in Marvel are just ridiculous. You can like literally train yourself up to super soldier tier in Marvel for some weird reason. I don't know the logic behind it, but hey, that's comics for you. They stated here, Zemo 
I've already showed you a lot of his fighting feats, but yet they stay here. Despite having no superpowers of his own, Zemo has access to several power sources and allies over the years, which makes him a threat, and he proved victorious over Grandmaster and an immortal elder of the universe. It states here, special talents, battle tactician, hand-in -hand combat, scientific innovation, threat high, loyalty medium, influence medium, power low. Don't get me wrong though, he still makes use of this combo X to retain his age, age super slowly. Seriously, he be having extended fights with these super soldier tears. I mean, how though? He endures kicks from Captain America, fighting on par with them, stuff like that. And not to mention, he even survived impalement. Ouch, his hand. Kick to the face, battle feet. I mean, he was able to endure pain tolerance and flames to the face like I showed earlier. Even hits from Captain America's shield, he takes uppercut from it. He be falling from large distances and falling and he's just okay afterwards. He even fought Red Skull. He even took a hit to the crowbar by him. Like, dude. Mother Superior, there was one point in Zemo's career where he got these things known as the Moonstones, which are alien power gems, which enable him to be able to manipulate energy, makes him a larger threat, gives him no more different powers, standard gear, overpowered, you know how Marvel is, standard gear. With these Moonstone abilities, he can open up the dimensional rifts around him, can literally open up portals. I mean, he severed the physical form of Photon across multiple pocket dimensions, like, whoa, that's freaking dick ridiculous it states here and those pockets have been dispersed across the dark force dimension he used it in a fight you know using sword combat here he take away the gravity of his opponent and that is hercules i believe he trapped photon in a state here trapping you in a single moment of time these moonstones allowed him to get intangible get an advantage over captain america even a bigger threat it even allows him to see into the future with freaking precognition. It literally allows him to jump tears like able to do this to Grandmaster. He can even gain knowledge from others from this thanks to his clairvoyance. And of course he has telekinesis where he can manhandle Captain America, put him against the wall, manipulates his molecular structure to look young. That's probably why you're wondering why he'd be looking different. Yeah, the same Grandmaster that got punched by Red Hulk that one time, you know. The same one here with these Moonstones, so that gives you an idea of how powerful this thing makes him. Oh yeah, by the way, he can ignore durability thanks to his adamantium sword, just in case you didn't know. But physically, let me give you an idea of why he's so strong. Being able to match the strength of somebody like Captain Falcon is a more of a bigger deal than you think. Captain Sam Wilson can break chains like this with raw strength. Ben Zemo has some similar strength to this guy, or just like other Super Soldier Tears. I'm just gonna let this sit here. Super Soldier Tears can throw freaking shields through tanks. I mean, I'm, I know the shield is vibranium, but come on, man, this is some ridiculous superhuman levels of power. He's consistently fighting Captain America's Sam Wilson tier characters. Being able to overpower Captain Falcon is a testament to his strength based on that feat I just showed you with that chain. This would mean he would have the lifting strength of at least two on one ton based on that chain breaking feat of Sam Wilson Captain America. Not to mention they have striking feats that are leagues above that like throwing a shield through a tank. Like come on now. Oh yeah and fun fact never forget that characters in the Super Soldier Rangers like Daredevil as well should apply for Baron Zemo. He's consistently fighting Captain America tears that are just as fast as Daredevil and they have been stated to have micro a reaction time that means baron zemo should have the same which means baron zemo should be able to react to things in one millionth of a second daredevil can dodge lightning so yeah it's consistent but that's just about going to do it everybody how strong do you think baron zemo is do you think he concretely belongs in that super soldier tier i mean it's not really much contradicting it he's consistently fighting the poster boy of super soldiers freaking captain america you know what i mean respect the fact that he's battled captain america on too many occasions in raw skill form the masters of evil organizations like you've probably seen in avengers earth's mightiest heroes cartoon the battle of the avengers the masters of evil battle of the avengers on more than one occasion and by the way these goddess he wears produce energy to amplify his punches even harder to make him more of a threat the exoskeleton armor fiber nanotech stuff you know what i mean but post your comments down below let me know what you all think and yeah he got weapons that ignore durability so that means he has weapons that can harm top tiers like adamantium, for example, harm Thor tiers. Not saying that he's on the Thor tier, but his weapons allow him to do the harm characters like this. You get the idea. Check out those playlists so I can see you on the channel more. Respect Baron Zemo.